Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? I hope you're all doing just fine today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Gillian Nova, and for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a case off for your PC. So, I just recently purchased this Masterbox TD500 mesh. I am gonna transfer all my PC parts from my old case to this new case. So let's get it started. Oh man, this is kind of heavy. I purchased this case a couple of days ago from Amazon. If you're interested in this case or what my PC parts are currently, check the description below as I'm gonna have links for everything. There's one dog. So let's go open this up. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison between my old case and my new case. And here's a view of the top-down difference. And finally, a view from the very front. As you can see, my old PC case is very outdated and the left one is a lot more modern. All right, YouTube, before you move anything from your previous case, I highly recommend that you take pictures on your phone as a reference guide, just in case that you don't know what connects to what. So for the first step, I highly recommend that you remove your GPU first. We're gonna remove our eight pin and our six pin. So once you remove your pins, there's gonna be a latch on the very bottom. Push that down and you should remove your GPU really easily. So as you can see right here, this is the latch that you're gonna be pushing and then pulling your GPU. All right, so now that we removed our graphics card and taking pictures from every different angle, we are now gonna remove all the wires that's connecting to the PSU. Another hard drive. Just in case if you forget, your hard drive and your SSD connects right here in your motherboard. I mean, look at my ugly cable management. All right, so now that we disconnected everything from the motherboard, I am going to remove the fan from the very back. I'm gonna remove the fan like that. Now that we removed everything, we are now going to unscrew the motherboard. All right, and now we should easily remove this from our old case, as so. And then lastly, we're going to remove our power supply unit. Now just pull it off easily like that. And lastly, don't forget about this for your motherboard. All right, so now that we removed everything from our old PC case, we're gonna install all these PC parts into our new case. All right, YouTube, so I unscrewed the very top of the new Cooler Master case. All you gotta do now is just pull it up and it should slide out really easily. We're also gonna be unscrewing the very back as well. All right, so on the very bottom right here, this connects to all our fans as well as our buttons for USB, the power button, and the microphone and headset. Also the restart button. And in this plastic, it looks like we have screws, cable ties. Oh man, they were really nice to cable tie everything already. All right, so for the first step, we're gonna place the IO shield on the very back and align it with our motherboard. So we're gonna put the motherboard inside the case. We're gonna be screwing the corners of the motherboard right here. Okay, so now we're gonna put the motherboard inside and make sure it's aligned with the corners. So I got the screws right here. Now I'm gonna place them inside. All right, next we're gonna put our fan back, place the screws on the very back of the case so that it would stay still. All right, so now that our fan is secured, we're going to connect it back to our motherboard. So make sure that you connect it to your fan and then it should connect fairly easily. Now we're gonna turn the case over and we're going to place our hard drives inside. So now we're gonna take these out so we can place our SSD and our hard drive. Keep note that this side should be facing up so that it can connect to your motherboard easily. So connecting your hard drive should be fairly easy. On the very back, you just need to push it so that it extends. Place it down as so and then push in and you're good to go. You're placing it back. Make sure your cables are connected back to your hard drives. So to keep note, the SATA cables that are connected to your hard drive will go through this hole on the very bottom. So the SATA cable should come through like that and then you just connect it back to your motherboard. Fairly easy. 
Okay, so next thing that we're going to do is place all the pre-assembled cables onto the motherboard. If you need any help, please let me know in the comment section below and I could create another video for you. So before you place your PSU inside your case, make sure everything is connected. All right, so now we place the power supply unit underneath our computer case and then place the screws on the very back and make sure that it's secured tightly. Once the power supply is connected, we're gonna connect all the wires to the motherboard, the hard drives, and the video card. So the first thing that I'm going to do are the hard drives. These wires from the PSU go right here. And lastly, before we turn on our computer, we're gonna place our graphics card. I usually place mine right here. So now we're gonna open this so we can make room for it to go out. So this is my current graphics card. This is the 2070 Super Mini. The pins that connect to your PSU are up here and this connects to your motherboard. So make sure that it's aligned, push it in, and then you'll hear a click. And then when you pull it out, it's gonna be really hard. That means it's good. So now we're gonna put the screw back on the side so that it's secured tightly. All right, so now we're gonna connect our pins from our PSU to our graphics card. So before we put the glass cover in the side panel, make sure you're okay with the cable management. As you can see, compared to my previous case, I have a lot more room. All right, so last thing, we're gonna connect all of our wires back to our computer. All right, YouTube, and there you have it. You successfully did a case swap with your previous case and your new case. So if you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below or you can reach me on Instagram at Gillianova. Until next time, YouTube, stay gold.